<laughs> Camera's rolling. Rock and roll. Based on, on, on uh, partly on the original 1975 and 1968 movies and Alexander Key's 1968 novel, I'm wondering when it came to playing alien siblings, was there a kind of a process? I don't know if you hung out with UFO experts, whether you hung out with spacers, maybe Joaquin Phoenix could help you. I don't know <laughs> how, you, how one gets there to say, okay, I'm an alien now. Well, we talked with Andy uh, Fickman, our brilliant director, and he is... Um, he he grew up with all, knowing about all this alien stuff, and he just he's kind of a guru on everything alien. And uh, I think the word's geek actually. <laughs> wow. He grew up in Roswell. He's yeah, born, he born in Roswell. Roswell. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So um, so he just really inspired us, and he would um, he he showed films to us at the before shooting in pre production and. Uh, of, of alien videos, so we all, and he, he would create sizzle reels, so we all knew the film that he was trying to create, and we'd have long, lengthy discussions about um, where our characters' minds were, and, and, and creating backstory, and Alexander and I hung out with each other all the time, so we are like, connected. Oh God, please don't remind me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I feel like kidding. Um, honestly though, like the documentaries you see, some of them you're like, okay, yeah, okay, a little cheesy, like I don't believe this, but some of them, I'm not even joking, they really make you think, is there something else out there? And um, it really just got us in, in, in the scene, and, and part of Honest Sophia and, and, I, and my job was to, uh, to, to make sure that the audience knew that we were from the same planet, and that we were always communicating telepathically during the movie, and hope we let them off, I think we did. Well, that notion to that within the movie itself, there's a, a kind of a hook of a, of a UFO convention here in Las Vegas, and mm -hmm. I don't know. What, uh, Andy kind of spoke to a lot of UFO experts, and he's got some cameos from different people, like the author of Communion and yeah. UFO yeah. Hunting and all the rest. Whitney, of Whitney. Whitney. There you go, Driver. Whitney Schreiber. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> We're like Whitney. Whitney uh, <laughs> but I don't know when you come out of a movie like this, being you know completely sort of thinking, okay, there's definitely intelligent life on other planets. Do you yes. feel that as you come out of the movie? Well, I hope so. I I definitely did. I mean. We're so surrounded by the film that, you know, I would definitely think there is. You know, I, uh, after I was done, I, before filming, I was like, oh, no way. But now it's, you know, our universe is so huge, there, there must be something <laughs> out there. And even if there isn't, it's just fun to think that there is. Well, well the fact that there might be intelligent life on other planets. Uh, George Bush was president here for four years. Do you think there's <laughs> intelligent life on this planet? Because it does seem... Does it seem like a, an irony that, that... I like your shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's a good shirt. <laughs> but, uh, but, but that notion, too, with a movie like this, that there's a, a, a kind of a set of, 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 especially for Andy, looking to the 1970s conspiracy thrillers and trying to get that sort of feel. I don't know whether there was a, a, a case for you guys of certain movies were definite reference points beyond the, the original movies, where there... There is. Uh, my favorite, I think, my favorite connection is the 2001 Space Odyssey. There is um, a moment in our film that kind of mirrors... Uh, that film, and I just think it's, it's, it makes the film so much more smart. You know, if you know about UFOs, and you know, and you've seen these old classic movies, when you watch our film, you realize there's all these cameos, and there's l these little excerpts of other movies in our film, which just makes it, just, it, it goes 20 levels deeper. And honestly, like, Andy did an incredible job, and this was his goal, to make this movie seem realistic, and as if, if two aliens have landed on Earth, this is how the government would react. And uh, there's so many references there to, to other conspiracies that have happened. And honestly, it's just, it's just an absolute just roller coaster ride. It's unbelievable. Crop but circles, everything. Just in, in regard to Space Odyssey 2001, Hal actually has taken on human form. He's now Jerry Bruckheimer. So be very careful if you do end up working with Jerry Bruckheimer. Ooh. He's very, very, very dangerous. <laughs> just so you know in advance. Yeah. <laughs> the beginnings for both of you guys, your mom was an actress and, and she was, both your parents were kind of a little bit reluctant about you getting involved in this yes. because it's, it's a, a very crazy world, you meet people like me and, and, <laughs> and all the rest. And then for you, I think from the age of five, you kind of knew this is what you wanted to do. You were in front of a stage at 500 people in a church in Colorado, I think. And wow, you've done your research. Yeah. Oh my God. It's my job. <laughs> but that notion, I don't know whether this is sort of like a, a kind of going to plan or whether there's no such thing as a plan when it comes to, especially when you're kind of young, that you really don't have that much control that you can say, well, I think I'll work with Johnny Depp next. Yeah, you really can't. It's really just, um, I, you don't have the liberty to decide what you want to do if you want to make it in this industry. And of course, my parents were really reluctant at the start. I mean, as most parents would be. I mean, a lot of children can be a little, you know, warped by this whole stereotypical Hollywood stuff. But um, I can't even tell you. This has just been such an honor, and millions of kids would die to have the role I do. And I'm just—it's just unbelievable. I'm doing what I love, and we're just having the best time. Yeah, I definitely. Um, I just. This has always been my dream, and I can't believe I'm. I'm, I'm living it. I'm here, and. Um, and it's never been according to plan. I've just wanted to do 
uh, it was never a goal of mine to be famous or anything or work with a specific person. It was just, you know, I want to do movies. I want to I want to tell stories. I just I want to do it. It was my passion. I never really thought about the whole motion of going through it. I just knew that's what I wanted to do and, and did it. And I'm blessed enough to be able to be here. And this has honestly just been a reassurance for, I mean, me and I'm sure on this, Sylvia, this is what we want to do for the rest of our lives. I mean, this is just, it's just an incredible experience. And I, I just love what I'm doing. It's just unbelievable. Rock and roll. I'm